Hello here. Uh, if you are trying to submit your research paper into a SPS journal, you will find the system a bit complex. And if you are trying to submit your uh, latex project, then you will definitely find it complex. However, uh, the process is not that much complex uh, because there is no clear guidelines or the guidelines provided by this were a bit confusing. That's why you may find it uh, difficult. Uh, but uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you uh, how you can do it easily. So the first step is to uh, prepare your manuscript. So to prepare your manuscript, uh, you need the else article class. So here, you need the else article class and the else number BST file. Uh, you can download these files easily by searching on the Google and uh, this is our main under text file and our references are stored in the reference.bib file one more thing uh, please uh, use the eps format uh, for your figures because i have no luck with uh, the pdf format i find the eps format working uh, easy uh, fine and it is easier okay so here uh, in the bibliography style section, uh, we are using the else article num style, and our bibliography is referred to the references to view file. And while uh, preparing your manuscript, please uh, try to uh, not use any external libraries. Uh, try to make it as simple as possible, uh, because external libraries uh, would prepare uh, more files and the editorial manager uh, actually does not support more style files so try to keep it uh, simple okay so uh, now let's try to compile it uh, one more thing uh, when you are uh, preparing your manuscript uh, the final version you should check it with your uh, offline compiler uh, many of us uh, work with the overleaf but the problem with overleaf is uh, it is actually uh, uh, generate the PDF uh, whether there are errors or not uh, actually it is designed for uh, uh, user friendly so even if you have errors on your file uh, it will try to show you the output but in case of the uh, offline uh, text maker uh, or the latex software uh, if you have a single error it will not compile uh, the project and it will not generate the PDF so this is a good way try to solve the errors okay so as you can see our different i have just used one reference to just to show that and i have just one figure here uh, and this is in eps format so this is our manuscript uh, it is from one of my previously published paper okay so let's see uh, you would not uh, see these files uh, at the beginning after compilation these files will be generated so we will uh, need one more file from here that is the main.bbl file it will be generated only after the successful compilation okay now let's go to the editorial manager So after creating a new account, uh, you will be uh, logged in into your uh, uh, dashboard or the author's area. From here, you need to click on the submit new manuscript. Uh, for saving time, I have uh, done a few work. Uh, so uh, now let's go to this window. After clicking uh, the submit a new manuscript, you will be uh, in this window. From here, this is the first step. And from here, I, as I am using a research paper, so I am choosing the research paper option and let's proceed. Now we need to attach the files. Actually, this is the most important step. Uh, this is where all of us get confused. So we need a cover letter, manuscript file and a conflict of interest uh, uh, file. So I have prepared the cover letter and the conflict of interest file you can generate the conflict of interest from here uh, click conflict of interest form click on here and you can generate it and for the cover letter you need to do it uh, manually uh, 
uh, you need to write it in your word and then export it into pdf format and the conflict of interest it must be in the doc format or it won't be uh, supported okay so so now let's load this okay we need to choose the type this is the cover letter okay uh, now we need the declare uh, conflict of interest or the declaration of interest file okay so from here conflict of interest it spells and this is my conflict of interest file okay it's been loaded now we need to load the manuscript files from here choose manuscript file and go to browse and this is inside the elsewhere folder and from here we need to choose the elsearticle.class file elsearticle num.bst file main.bbl main.txt reference.bib uh, these are the manuscript files let's load this Okay, now we need to load the figure. So from here, let's select figure. Yes, and from here, this is the figure. Okay, uh, now let's organize this. Uh, first, there will be the uh, else article dot class file. After that, the text file. Then the bib file. Then the BBL file, and at last there will be the BST file. Okay, so we have successfully loaded our source file. Now let's proceed. Okay, filling out these informations are not that much complex. Just just fill out all of this, and let's go to the manuscript data. Okay, from here let's click on the build PDF for approval you need to fill this uh, the paper title the abstract keywords author information funding information and after that click on the build PDF for approval let's proceed okay uh, it may take a minute or two uh, depending on the uh, size of your uh, project if it is a big project so there are so many figures and tables and text and then it may take up to five to ten minutes but normally uh, it takes two to three minutes and if there is an error it might take more to uh, response it might take uh, up to 30 minutes so let's wait and see okay as you can see that now it shows the state uh, uh, the status uh, need, needs approval and the action link is here from here you can view the submission edit it approve it remove it okay so from here we will view the submission okay let's see okay this is the cover page then the cover letter and here is our manuscript you can see this is uh, correctly compiled and generated the pdf so our figure is also here and as you can see the references are also here so that's all and if you need to submit it first you need to accept it and then go to here and from here the approve the submission so 
i hope the video was helpful to you uh, thanks for watching